In this video, we are looking at uh, how do we prepare for the first chunk in arithmetic, which is percentages, profit and loss, and simple interest, compound interest. So, what is uh, forty percent of one thirty? What is uh, what percentage of uh, ninety is thirty five? Uh, what is what if there is a forty percent increase on a number? Uh, how do you look at it? You look at it as a one point four of something. What what if there is eighty percent of something, which means you are looking at one minus zero point two or four fifth of a number. So you get these ideas set in place, then you are good to go in terms of percentages. Again, the very similar ideas follow for profit and loss, where usually the idea is profit is uh, uh, selling price minus cost price. Obviously, if there is a profit, then the selling price is higher than the cost price. But you rearrange that equation and then look at it as uh, selling price is cost price plus profit. Where if there is a ten percent profit, it is point one of cost price. You get that idea, right? See, you can always use uh, profit is selling price minus cost price. That idea is true. Not saying that is not true. But the more you get comfortable with using something the which is not on the face like selling price is co constitutes of two components where one such component is the cost price and the other component is profit or loss but that is some percentage of cost price so every profit or loss percentage that you have been told or you have been asked to calculate is based on cost price so this is one more idea that you need to know in terms of uh, profit and loss so the more you get comfortable juggling between uh, uh, decimals fractions and percentages the more comfortable you are going to be so you are looking at 4 fifth you know that this is 80 percentage sitting inside or you are looking at uh, uh, 83.33 you know there is a 5 by 6 sitting inside so make sure see this does not come in a day so you start off your preparation using calculators then you are setting your, up yourself for failure so don't do that the more you get comfortable solving questions pen and paper then the more you have your chances of realizing that 83.33 can be looked at in a different way there's a 5 by 6 sitting inside that 83.33 and i think that is very vital the exam has gone out of its way to test understanding and for understanding getting comfortable between these things really matter rather than being able to plug in formulae and use the calculator so this is how you prepare for the first chunk in arithmetic Best wishes for Cat Trip.